So in today's video, I'm gonna make baked beans because a guy challenged me to make baked beans. I've never made a cooking video before. I don't think I'll ever make a habit of making a cooking video. Until I started making YouTube videos myself, I wasn't really familiar on what the concept of a challenge video is. Somebody who has a channel challenges you to make a certain type of video. That person then challenges several other people to try to make that same type of video, and then they collect them all on a playlist, and apparently people will watch those videos on a playlist. So this guy, uh, at Bumblebee Junction challenged my friend Stony Creek Bill, who then challenged me. So this is sort of like a YouTube viewership uh, pyramid scheme, if you will. That's the premise behind it all. I'm somewhat skeptical, but I actually like making baked beans, so I'm gonna give this one a shot. So for starters though, what you need to do is soak your beans. I don't know, this is about three cups of pinto beans here that have been soaking overnight. A lot of people say that if you don't soak your beans, they're gonna give you wicked bad farts. So uh, I guess that really does make it a musical fruit. We've got this old onion that's been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days. So here I've got the cast iron pot heating up to get it nice and toasty. So don't let the label fool you. This is just old bacon grease from when we cooked bacon recently. Let's take a nice big heroic scoop of this. I've got to say, making these cooking videos is a lot more fun than showing how inept I am at working on the farm. All right, now let's chop up some more uh, garden vegetables here. We got a green bell pepper and we got a jalapeno. We want this to have a little kick. It shouldn't be insane. Mm. You know, the peppers and tomatoes are coming from the garden. I guess that's probably the only thing. I've never grown like beans that you can store. I'm actually like to learn how to do that. Give it a good stir. All right, now let's grab a couple of these tomatoes. You don't need too many tomatoes. A lot of people will uh, use like ketchup or barbecue sauce in their baked bean recipes. To me, that feels like cheating. I like to try to make some stuff from scratch, which we're doing here with these baked beans that we got going on. Yeah, see, look at that. Isn't that nice? These are some good home crushed, fresh from the garden tomatoes we got going here. Some tomatoes now. So you just want to cook this stuff down and just let it simmer as you're prepping the other stuff here. Just let it keep going. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are saying that looks like way too many vegetables for baked beans, but here at our place, we like to add as many vegetables as possible because it's good for you. That's a philosophy that Allison has beaten into my head over the years, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good one. So we're generally fans of making our own stock at our place. So what we'll do is take like a chicken carcass like this, which we then turn into a nice brown liquid when you cook it with chicken, plus you might use some vegetable cuttings and that sort of thing. It like completely changes the game when you're uh, cooking food. So I'm gonna add the stock. I'm doing two cups of it to the mixture here. And then, I'm gonna add some apple cider into the mix. A half a cup of apple cider. Add it to my concoction, boom. All right, let's get that leftover sausage chopped up here. And then you add the sausage into the mix. Now you got something good going here. Now let's talk seasoning. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. Close enough. Add one teaspoon of ground cumin, then a tablespoon of garlic powder. Those are your seasonings. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And now this is the part that makes this actually Vermont baked beans. You gotta take some homemade maple syrup. 
and add one quarter cup of that homemade maple syrup. Now it's finally time to add your beans. Strain them. Add them to your concoction. Get it all stirred up. And now your final step is you're going to take it, cover it, and then take your Dutch oven and toss it in the oven. About 325 ish or so. And then you got to wait it out. So now that the ducks over there are eating, I'm gonna go check on my beans. The baked beans have been in the oven for, actually it's been almost five hours. Let's take them out and see how they're doing. Oh boy. Ooh, look at that. That smells really good. So this has been our episode of the Musical Fruit Challenge. Um, hope you guys like this. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and haven't seen our channel before, please be sure to click the subscribe button and uh, you know, Allison will stop awkwardly looking at all of you. And a special thanks to my buddy Stony Creek Bill for uh, challenging me to make beans. Um, I feel like it uh, went pretty well.